And I thought I would get on here and talk to you all about being more comfortable when you are trying to vlog in public and when you are around a lot of people because I know how I felt because I have been doing it for like two years now and I have found different ways and methods to make me more comfortable. And so if you are interested in learning what I did so you can start being comfortable as well, then please make sure you watch this video. Before we get started with this video, I know y'all are probably wondering why I have this scarf on my head and this headband. So right now it is like maybe 8.30ish and I have a Walmart order to go pick up and so I'm waiting on Walmart to shoot me a text and let me know that my order is ready. It's supposed to be ready between 9 and 10 p.m. and so I just finished taking a shower. I cleaned a whole lot like I cleaned the bathroom, I cleaned the laundry room because today is Sunday and I wanted to reset before the work week and I figured since I had time before I go get my Walmart order I would talk to you all about how I became more comfortable with vlogging and recording and pulling my camera and my phone out in front of other people. And while I am talking to you all about how I got over the anxiety of doing it, I am going to be doing like my facial nighttime routine. So I scrubbed my face with Differin and I also scrubbed my face with Fenty Skin Cleanser and then I rinse both of those off and I go and I add some witch hazel to my face and just wipe it down really, really good. Um, and then I put some different on my face, like the solution, and I also exfoliate my lips. And so sometimes I exfoliate my lips at night and in the morning, but for the most part, I tend to exfoliate my lips every morning before I get ready to go to work. And so without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started with this video. I have been getting asked a lot of questions on my TikTok about, you know, my edges and my traction alopecia. And there are two other um, female influencers who are going through the same thing. One of them is called Brittany Baby. And I forgot the other female name, but I will leave her name down below if I can remember it or if I can find her Instagram and her TikTok and her YouTube. But I have been getting asked questions about how my traction alopecia has been going because I started my journey back in August. Now initially I was using the solution and I have noticed that the solution was drying like my scalp out and so um, I asked the doctor could I get like a topical cream something that will not dry my hair out and they put me in a new prescription and I went to Walgreens and I don't want to mess up the name so I'm just going to show it to you. And I have to apply a big layer once a day and I tend to apply it at night, every night before I go to bed. And so I inserted a clip right in the beginning of this video just to show you all what my hair was looking like. So we'll go ahead and get started with nighttime routine. This is the different cleanser that I was telling you all about. And you can just pick it up from Walgreens. And I started using Differin because I didn't notice a significant change in this Fenty Skin Total Cleanser Facial Wash. Um, it smells really, really good and it feels good on my skin. But in regards to like the dark spots and minimizing pimples and acne, I didn't see a significant change 
in regards to using the Fenty Skin Total Cleanser. And so I switched over to the different and now I am currently using both. And I honestly don't use the Fenty Skin every day because like I said, I haven't seen a difference in the acne. And so I tend to only use this like maybe once a week. Um, since today is Sunday, I will reset by using this and then I won't use this again until next Sunday. Plus it's on the expensive side and I would like to save it because I just have not noticed any change in my skin as far as like the acne. And if you have been using this, tell me what or what have you noticed in regards to using the Fenty Skin. And if you are not using either one of these products, what products are you using to um, maintain your pimples and your acne? Or if you don't have any acne at all, that's even better. But make sure y'all comment down below on whatever it is that you are using to make sure that you are maintaining your skin as far as pimples, acne, and all of that. Because you know, like, Hormones and, and everything tend to have our face look in a certain type of way and we can't be having that, okay? Okay, so I just put some water on my face so my face can be damp and I am going to apply the different. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get started with talking about how you can record and get more comfortable with recording um, when you are out in public. And so what I did initially was record in my house. In my house when no one wasn't around because um, it would be noise in the background whether it would be Phoenix running up and down the stairs you know whether my husband was doing something whether Jaden you know so initially I started recording just in my house and I have used everything as far as like tripods ring lights I even have microphones um, I think I've used every editing software. I've, now I'm currently using CapCut, but before I was using iMovie and iMovie was just so boring. And so I switched to Final Cut Pro, but the subscription was a bit on the pricey side. And then I switched to CapCut. So initially when I started recording, I would record in a comfortable setting, which was my home. And so I would record in my home. And then I, you know, gradually over time, I would record going to like different stores, like Food Lion, Walmart. And when I would go, I would make sure there was no one on the aisle with me um, when I went into the store. Because people tend to look at you funny when you pull out your phone. Or people tend to look at you funny when you start pulling out a big bowl camera like the camera that I'm using is a Canon EOS R10 and so it's a bit on the bulky side but now I'm at a point where I don't even care like I just pull it out I went to Dits on <clears throat> Friday and I had my camera out my Canon EOS R10 and there was some sales associates looking at me you know I guess trying to figure out what I was doing but since I was so zoomed in or zoned in on recording and getting the content about the gym bag I didn't care who you know seen me record it so before when I pay other people attention you know people would come up to me and be like hey what are you doing um what are you recording for or you know and then I would say well oh I have a YouTube and oh you know and then it started you know people started asking more questions and then it started getting kind of like annoying because I'm trying to record and then I will forget what I'm recording and what I'm talking about and so in the beginning I will record at home and just get comfortable being at home in my own environment in my own setting talking you know uh, pausing it you know going back to revisit the clips making sure that what I said made sense making sure that I didn't talk too fast and so um, that's how I started I started inside my home so I just washed that different off my face and now I am transitioning to the Fenty skin total cleanser and you don't need a lot because it lathers a whole lot and so like I was saying I started in my house and then I gradually would record in other places like for example I was at school for Watts and Wobbeck and I would start recording little clips here and there and it would always be like in my own space. So when I was in school for Watson and Wobbeck, I was in my own room, like a hotel room or whatever. And so since I was in my own space, I was just comfortable. Um, I didn't have any issues there. Now, what I did in regards to transitioning to other places, for example, the gym. I would try to go to the gym as early as possible to get there before anyone else would get there. Like today, me and Jaden went to the gym and the gym opened at seven o'clock. We were there by 7.15 and there was literally no one there. And so I had my tripod out, I had my phone, and I had my camera taking pictures and recording.
And so I would say go to places that are less crowded during certain times of the day so you can be comfortable and even when you are in the gym and people are looking at you they'll just look at you real quick and then they'll continue with their workout um or they'll glance over at you and then get back to doing whatever it is because why are you being nosy why are you watching me record at this point so um the second thing that i would say is go to places that won't be as crowded during certain times of the day and then when you are recording you have to make sure that you ask people are you are they okay with you recording them because you need permission to film them and upload them on youtube and so like when i went to Warwick and i was recording my class i asked my class like hey are y'all okay with me recording are y'all okay with me uploading something on youtube because i don't want to record y'all and then on the back end somebody feels some type of way and then i have to take the entire video down and so that's the second thing that i would advise that you do in regards to recording is when you go to public places like Food Lion, Walmart, the gym, try to record when it's less crowded. And if that means you have to go late at night, and if that means you have to go early in the morning when everyone is still asleep, then that's just what, that's just what you have to do because if not, you won't be able to know how to deal with the crowd and then you'll start getting anxiety and then you won't want to record or either you will feel uncomfortable about somebody looking at you record, if that makes sense. So I just washed that Fenty Total Cleanser off my face. Now I'm going to be using my um, Witch Hazel to wipe my skin down. Third thing that I would say, the third and final thing that I would say in regards to recording is just making sure you have everything that you need. And what I mean by that is when you go out in public, make sure you have a tripod that can bend, that can move, that can extend. Um, also make sure you have extra batteries because I was recording a few times and my battery would go dead and I would be upset and then I would have to transition to my phone. And so I started like just recording a lot of my videos with my phone and then I felt like, I have a whole camera like why am I still recording using my phone and especially because the camera was expensive and so what I will say is the third thing is making sure you have all of the things that you need to be comfortable with to film because you don't want to be out in public and then you're comfortable filming and then you don't have the proper gear to film or you don't have the things that you need to film and so the first thing I would say is be comfortable doing it in your home do it as many times as you can you know because if you mess up at least you can and catch it and then you'll know what to do when you are out in public recording you know you might have to start over and sometimes it takes hours to get the content that you need for example when I was in dits I was in dits for over an hour trying to record and get content because I had already mentioned that I wanted to go get me a new gym bag and so with walking around the store making sure people wasn't in my video because I didn't want to be asking somebody you know are they okay with me recording or filming them you know it took me a long time it took me an hour just to get content content for a video that I uploaded that was only 30 minutes and so the first thing I would say is be comfortable be comfortable in whatever setting you are whether it's at your house uh, whether it's inside your vehicle um, the second thing I would say is uh, go to places that are less crowded um, during certain times where there is not a lot of people even if you know you're going to Starbucks and you want to go inside and record Starbucks um, try not to film the people that are making your coffee try to just only record yourself but depending on what time you go it may be crowded it may not be so stick with early times and late times and then last but not least I would just say make sure you have everything that you need to record to get the content again you don't want to be recording and then you have your battery go dead and you can't even finish the video and then you upset because you did all of that just to get to the point of where you wanted to record and you can't um and so those are my recommendations i had three and i will list them down below and this is pretty much it for my night routine since i have or just put my witch hazel on my face i'm going to rinse my face and then, so the last thing i will be using is this different and it is for dark spots correcting serum and the reason why i started using different in the first place is because when i would get a pimple um after my cycle or that time of the month i would get a dark spot and the dark spot would take forever to go away and so I've been using different for like two weeks now um I feel like I've been using it consistently 
but I still wear makeup and stuff throughout the day so I don't know if it's the makeup that's making the dark spots last longer than expected because I was doing the cocoa butter stick also when I you know am trying to get rid of the dark spots and so that's pretty much like my night routine I'm going to wait on Walmart to text me go out and grab this food and try to get in the bed and get ready for the work week i hope everybody took something away from what i was saying in regards to having anxiety and not being comfortable recording and y'all let me know what y'all are doing because maybe the recommendations that i said was not something that you agree with or that you feel like may not help you and so that was pretty much it for that portion of this video i am going to continue vlogging throughout the week and then upload on sunday and so i hope y'all enjoy the rest of y'all evening and night hey y'all what's up welcome back to my channel my name is amelia danielle if you are new here thank you so much for stopping by do not forget to subscribe to this channel like and comment if you have any questions or concerns down below and so today I am at the gym I have some errands to run I need to go get my nails done because they are looking atrocious but before we go inside the gym and work out and do our errands I want to talk to you all I said I was gonna start like a car chronicle series and it's about talking about things that everyone can relate to and I feel like I want to talk about it because I just need help dealing with it and getting other people's opinions on how I should deal with it and what they have been doing to deal with it as well. And so I'll start by saying that I feel like over the past few weeks and I would say over a year now that I feel like I have been dealing with anxiety and when I mean anxiety, anxiety, and you may be experienced it, and you may be experiencing the same thing. So, like for me, I feel like I have been dealing with anxiety in regards to giving my all to someone and not really getting their all in return, or doing a lot of things and then getting overwhelmed that caused me to have anxiety because. I'm not getting the help that I would that I feel like I would need and it may be my fault as well for why I'm having the anxiety I may be the reason and the cause behind why I am experiencing the the anxiety that I am experiencing and so I would like to talk about it real quick and get your opinions and let me know how y'all deal with it and if I'm to blame and what I can do, right? So I'll give y'all a, a bad history or like a, a brief description or rundown um, on something that recently happened, right? And so for me, we mentally, uh, well, I don't say we. I know for me, I mentally talk to myself like in my head. So for example, if it is Thursday night, I will, you know, get home after work and then, you know, I take my uniform off, hang it up, do whatever, you know, Phoenix, go get in the shower, you know, once you get finished, I'll go ahead and fix your dinner and then I'll start thinking about the things that I need to do the next day, which is Friday, for example, right? And so I'm like, okay, I need to go downstairs and fix Phoenix lunch tonight for tomorrow. I need to meal prep my food so I won't have to go out and buy no food, um, basically do my overnight oats. I need to... Think about the things that I need to get accomplished at work the next day because it is Friday and I want to make sure I close these things out. Also, I want to make sure I get me some coffee. Then on top of that, I think I have two meetings I have to attend. And being that it is Friday tomorrow, I know I have to go to Jaden's basketball game because I'm going to always support him, especially if it's a home game. And then let me make sure I hit my mama back about this because she was asking about a cruise. Oh, let me call and check on my dad because I know he was sick. Let me hit my cousin up because I hasn't I haven't talked to my cousin in like a week or two. Let me check on my friends. So I start getting anxiety because not at the time that I'm thinking about the things that I have to do, but the very next day I'll get the anxiety because Friday morning will come and then I'm like, okay, I fixed Phoenix lunch, boom. 
I fix my overnight oats, I fix me something for lunch, boom. Okay, I still need to fix a cup of water and take to work in my Stanley Cup. I still need to um, make sure my gym bag is packed, make sure my shoes and stuff are good to go. I still need to make sure I leave the house on time to take Phoenix to school. And by the way, I might not be able to get coffee. If I do get coffee, I'm gonna be late because I knew I was supposed to have left at a certain time because I did all of these things or thought about these things Thursday night to help me prepare for Friday so when Friday came I knew I would be good um and so the spam calls will start I'll start getting spam calls um early in the morning like 7 30 8 o'clock um and I just be like what is going on like my mom will call she will text and I'm just like what what is going on like I thought I prepared myself Thursday night and this happens almost two or three times throughout the week. I'll prepare myself, even on the weekend, I will prepare the house. I will make sure the house is clean. I will make sure Phoenix clothes and stuff are ironed. I'll make sure that Jada don't need nothing to take to school. I'll make sure, you know, me and my husband clothes are cleaned and washed and folded and put put up and all of that and we use different washcloths and towels every single day and so i'm already doing that on a daily as a daily ritual um and then we have two american bullies and so i have to make sure they eat and i get a little overwhelmed and i start getting frustrated to the point where like I just feel like I want to go off on somebody, but I know it's not right to go off on somebody because I know it's not their fault. Um, there are times when I don't answer my phone. Like if my mom call, I won't answer my phone. There are times like when my husband will be talking to me and I'll just be sitting there listening and he'll be like, all right, you know, I guess I'll talk to you later because you don't have nothing to say. And I'm just like, well, I did respond. I just, I just, I just, <sighs> And then I feel like I'm always making myself available to other people. And I'm not saying people don't make themselves available to me, but I feel like the level, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. And so I said I was gonna start having Car Chronicles and today's Car Chronicle was about anxiety and how you all deal with it because I don't know how to deal with it. Like I will sit in the car and I will feel like I'm about to start crying. I will go in the office and I have to completely change how I am feeling from being in my car when I walk in the office. Like no one will probably know that I just had a whole mental breakdown because everything that I planned did not go as planned for the very next day. Or someone will be like, hey, Chief, good morning. And I'm just like, hey, good morning. How are you? How was your night? How was your evening? You know, what did you do? And, you know, how's the kids? And how's your daughter? You know, but mentally, I'm just like, I just went through all of this. I hit my friend up and I was like, listen, I need something. I don't know what that something is. Maybe it's medication because my life on a daily is, is not in shambles. I feel like my life is planned because I do everything that I need to do in regards to having a good successful week. But for whatever reason, we don't have nothing at home to cook for, for dinner. So then we got to make a stop for whatever reason. You know, something might pop up and, you know, Phoenix has basketball practice on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Phoenix have games on Saturdays. Jaden have practice every single day. So I'm up making sure he comes home on time because, you know, I'm a worried parent. You know, there are so many things that goes on every day that I need to figure out how I can deal with it because I'm starting to get anxiety. I'm starting to have, like, mental breakdowns in my mind about the things that are going on with me and so if you make plans to do certain things at night for the next day and they don't go as planned or if you have somebody constantly blowing you up or if you get to work somebody is stressing you out or if your your kids are in the car and you're taking them to school in the morning and they're talking non-stop or if your parents or a friends blowing you up venting and talking to and you over here like you know, what about me? What are you doing to deal with that? Do you get anxiety or do you 
And at one point, I was meditating. Meditating in the morning was helping, and so I think I'm going to start back doing that. But I know my life can't be planned accordingly the way that I plan it out in my brain and my mind when I'm talking to myself. But I at least try to do things in a certain order to accomplish things, to make the day better, the week easier. So let me know what y'all do in regards to the topic that I'm talking about. Or if you don't have this issue, then that's great. You know, I, I wish I didn't have this issue. And it could be whether you're single, married, um, a single parent. Um, it doesn't matter. I don't think it matters. I think we all go through having anxiety when we deal with certain things. Um, that can become overwhelming for us. Um, so y'all let me know about that. But some of the errands that I have to do today is I have to take Jaden's phone back to T-Mobile. He got a new iPhone 15, so I have to go swap it out. Well, basically turn it in to get credit for it. I'm also going to go get my nails done because my nails look a hot mess. I'm going to get them really, really, really short because when I'm in the gym working out, it just becomes a hassle with grabbing the weights and stuff because my nails be in my skin. So I'm going to get them cut down. I also have to take my uniforms to the cleaners. Um, I have to go do something for my husband and take it to the post office. And I am going to get me some boba. I have not had boba in like a whole week, maybe two weeks. And so I do plan on getting some boba. And I'm going to try to have a great weekend because I am off for the next few days. And so I'm going to just try to enjoy my time. I'm about to go work out. I got a new workout set that I'm going to try to show y'all when I get inside the gym. The gym is very loud, so I won't be able to talk in the gym. But what you might see is just me showing y'all my workout set um, without no details of it. I'll just basically leave the details down below or I'll tell y'all that, hey... The blue workout set that I got, I got it from Amazon and a size of small. I weigh 171. Sometimes when I get on a scale, it says 173 um, to 171. So that's how much I weigh. I am 5'11", so I'm extremely tall. And it is still long on my body. Um, it's blue. Um, I have a pink set as well. But I think that's it in regards to the set. And so if you are interested, then I will leave the link down below. And just keep in mind that if you click on the link, I may be able to earn a small commission because I am a Amazon, um, I have an Amazon storefront. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and continue with this video.
nails came out looking bomb.com do you hear me so I had intentions on getting my nails cut down shorter but when I was talking to Henry he was like hey if you get them cut down I won't be able to do like the round almond shape for you and so I was like oh okay so you know what I changed my mind when I go to the gym I just have to be extra careful because when I grab the dumbbells um I end up you know like hurting the inside of my hands because the way my nails are and the length of them and the shape of them and so it hurts and so I just have to be extra careful with my nails and then I'm gonna show y'all the nail that he had to fix and so this nail broke the other day and half and he had to remove it and it was hurting when he was trying to remove it so he had to soak it but he soaked it he took them off um, and he fixed it and it looks amazing and so being that I went to the gym I came over got my nails done came over to royalty and got me some boba I always get the brown sugar cream brulee and I also went to T-Mobile before I came over here to see about my nails um, so they boxed it up for me and I just have to take it to a UPS store and since it's only one o'clock I have plenty of time I'm gonna run home and I'm gonna get my uniforms to take to the cleaners and I am going to freshen up. I'm not sure if I'm going to freshen up before or after. But even if I don't take my uniforms to the cleaners today, I can take them tomorrow. And I will still have a uniform that I can iron if need be come Tuesday because we are off on Monday for MLK K Day. But my nails came out really, really cute. Let me know what y'all think. Comment down below. I was getting so tired of the square shape. Like the square shape I felt like was making me feel and look old. And so I've been rocking with these for like two or three months now I originally got the almond shape when I went to Aspen and that was back in November and so we are in January and they are still looking sexy and fine so um yeah I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing what I need to take care of today because I am on track I had everything in my phone in regards to like what I needed to do and accomplish today and so um like I said the only thing else that I have to do is go to the cleaners and then drop Jaden's phone off good morning beautiful people today is Thursday January the what 18th and I just got a notification that my Lord Bay Shades sneaky link will be arriving today so I'm super excited about that. I'm thinking about doing like a TikTok or a reel so y'all can see what they look like. Um, but before we get started with finishing this vlog out, I wanted to show y'all my sandwich that I got from the Morning Jump. It is a panini with egg and Swiss cheese. Oh, I got one yesterday, it was so good y'all. And make sure when y'all go, y'all get this new drink that Ashley recommended. It is called a caramel chestnut, um, with coconut milk. One second, y'all, let me pull it up. It's a caramel chestnut hot with coconut milk in the size of a 16 ounce. And when I tell y'all, I took a sip of this yesterday and I almost, you know, passed out. Like how you catch the Holy Ghost. I felt like I was catching the Holy Ghost. This this drink made my day. Um, But, I wanted to get on here and close out this vlog because I don't want y'all to be confused about what I was talking about in regards to me having anxiety. So I'm not saying that I don't get enough help at home, right? So I don't want y'all to think, well, okay, you married, you have kids and stuff at the house, they almost grown. Why do you feel like you're having anxiety? So that is a that is a true statement. Like my husband does a lot of things. He's a great dad. He takes a lot of time out with the kids. He supports them by going to their games. He, you know, he takes Phoenix to practice, you know, cause like I said, practice is on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So um, he's either taking Phoenix or either we ride together. When we go to Jaden games, we either go together or drive in the bit. It doesn't matter. Like the problem is not that I don't get help because I do get help. I think the problem for me is that being that I am a woman and I like things done a certain type of way, I tend to overwhelm myself by doing these things because mentally this is something that I honestly probably need help and I'm gonna give y'all uh, another example because I feel like I gave y'all some examples, right? So an example is the trash is full, right? 
the trash is full but I'm the only person in the house or the boys will be upstairs playing the game or like my husband will be you know occupied doing something and so when I walk downstairs I will see that the trash needs to be taken out and instead of waiting on them to do it or instead of texting them or going upstairs and saying hey Jay like take out the trash or you know asking my husband like hey babe do you mind taking the trash out I'll just see it and I'll just do it because I'm not handicapped for one and I'm not going to depend or rely on someone else to do something that I want done right away. Um, so it's not like I don't have to help and that's why I said maybe I am the cause for some of the things that I am experiencing in regards to what's causing me to have anxiety. Another example was, you know, does Phoenix clothes have to be ironed for school? He's seven. Maybe they don't. You know, maybe they don't. Even his sweatpants, I iron his sweatpants. And a lot of men don't care about their kids' clothes being ironed before they go to school. Especially because it's the winter time and they, you know, kids have on jackets for the most part during the day. Like a little fleece hoodie or something like that. So you would think that the shirt that they are wearing underneath does not have to be ironed but i still iron my son's clothes like i want him to look and be presentable at all times you never know he might take his jacket off because he gets hot and his shirt might be wrinkled so i'm just like no nah, i'm not having that like so a lot of the things that i am talking about that i talked about previously because i was getting ready to go inside the gym and work out may have like maybe things that i cause upon myself and so that's why i'm like you know comment down below if there are things that y'all think i can do or things that i shouldn't do or because i know for the most part a lot of the things that i am experiencing as far as anxiety is because of me for for another example and i feel like i've been giving y'all a lot of examples so yesterday was wednesday i was on my way home and my gas light came on and i'm like really and so i wasn't upset about it but i was just like you know what i'm gonna make it home so i'll just get gas in the morning i will backwards plan because like i said in the beginning of this video i think to myself i talk to myself like hey girl so your gas light came on you know you need to go get some gas in the morning you probably need to leave the house like maybe 10 15 minutes beforehand right so i gets up me and phoenix leaves the house 10 15 minutes prior I get to the gas station. I put my debit card in. The thing was not working. It said declined. I said declined? Like, I know I got money. Like, come on now. Why would I put a debit card in the card slot for gas if that card don't have money on it? So, I was like, something ain't right. So, I waited on it to, like, cancel itself out. It said, please go see the cashier. And I said, you know what? Let me try this again. Instead of trying to use debit, let me hit cancel for credit. So, did it. The thing said, please see cashier sales canceled and i was like you know what girl it's gonna be okay it's okay just go to another pump so i go to another pump i get out it works i'm like okay it had to be this pump so it was the pump i get out you know and the gas start pumping so when my gas pump i come sit in the vehicle phoenix here he goes mommy why why you didn't get gas yesterday well how come because i gotta be at school and mommy what happened to your car what's wrong with your car and in my head i was just like screaming right and i'm like well phoenix ain't do nothing he's seven and quite naturally he gonna ask questions and i said what phoenix he said yeah mommy why you didn't get gas yesterday and i said who are you talking to like who for one and i said for two phoenix i don't know what happened with the car like i don't like just listen we about to get this gas. I'm going to take you to school. It's going to be all right. He was like, yes, ma'am. You know, like, bitch, shut the fuck up. Like, you the one over here getting gas. You, your car the one who, you know, gave you an error message. And that's why earlier I was just like, kids will talk and talk. And I don't know where Phoenix gets that from because I'm lying. I talk a lot. But I don't talk a lot in the mornings. Like, I have to process, I have to fully wake up, and I have to get myself together, have my sip of coffee, meditate, do all of these things before I start talking, like, and I get up at, like, 6 o'clock. So, I don't start fully talking until, like, 8.30ish. You know what I'm saying? But I'm already taking Phoenix to school, and so he's already talking before then, right? And so, I want us to get on here and just tell y'all about the anxiety. Like, a lot of the anxiety, and that's what caused me to have a little bit of anxiety this morning, too. And I said, you know what? Bring yourself in, girl. Bring yourself in because you ain't going to have this issue today. You're going to go to work. You're going to be productive. You're going to be positive. You're going to, you know, knock out some stuff. And you're going to go to the gym because, you know what I'm saying, that's, that's your thing. That's your routine. And it helps you. It makes you feel better anyway. So, just focus on that. So, I said, you know what? 
it's my fault. I should have got gas yesterday. And then I even started trying to blame someone else for why my gas light was on. Like, why my husband ain't, don't get me gas throughout the weekday? Like, if he know it's Thursday, about to be Friday, he should take the time and the initiative to get in my vehicle when he turn it on in the morning or just in general and be like, hmm, I wonder if my wife need gas. Let me check. And if she does, let me go take her car to go get some gas because, you know, it's about to be Friday. She's been riding all week. And I know she probably needs some gas. I started doing that. Like, and it's not his fault, you know? Um. So, yeah, y'all. I just, in regards to the anxiety, I... I don't know. I don't know. I feel like, I don't know if this is a common thing, but again, my friend says she take medication for it. I don't mind taking medication. Like if it's something that's going to help me, then it's what's going to help me. But what I do know is my mom sent me a daily planner for 2024 and I have one. Y'all know I have three planners, not one, not two, but three planners. And I write down everything. Um, and so I feel like this is going to help me. Not even just this planner because I started writing in my other ones. But I wanted to show y'all what it looked like because it's very cute. So it has like the stickers on the inside. I'm going to try to like the camera don't be focusing like it need to. It be looking blurry. So it has stickers on the inside. And then let me show y'all. I have some missed phone calls. I'm pretty sure is the spam calls that I was telling y'all about. I think these folks be getting our numbers from like gas stations and all of that. Um... Good morning, Chief. I don't know what is happening, but the army is arming at the moment. Look. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, y'all. And then I want to show y'all that I already... Like, it has... Start with the big picture as number one. The big picture is important because it gives your life direction. Your big picture is a combination of your dreams, your ideas about the life that you want to live, and your vision of what the coming year could be. Use this space below to brainstorm. Include thoughts about the people in your life and the kind of people that you want to surround yourself with. So that's number one. Number two is set goals. Number three is design your days. So design your days by being intentional. Uh, it says that we've included some suggestions suggestions on what some of the most successful people do every morning and every evening. But the important thing to remember is that your day is unique. It's a unique reflection of you. It needs to work for you, but don't fear challenging yourself to change it up every now and then. Try a few of these daily planning ideas on for size and to add to the list to use it as a reminder and reference th tools throughout the year. So some of the things that they recommended is plan your day early, which I feel like I do. Identify three things that you need to get done throughout the day. Um, include fitness and include family time. And another thing is it says take the time to be grateful recap your day celebrate progress and prepare for tomorrow i feel like i do that which this is something good to talk about in this video because i'm talking about anxiety and so if it's saying you know recap your day um and prepare for tomorrow i i don't never take the time to be grateful i do prepare for tomorrow but sometimes i have a few setbacks and so like i knew that i had to go ahead and get my stanley cup you know, full this morning. I knew that I had to leave the house 10, 15 minutes early to get gas. Um, so I felt like I was preparing for tomorrow, but when tomorrow came, which is today, and the gas pump, pump wasn't working, I wasn't prepared for that. And then it says, number four, stay on course. Review your goals throughout the year. The checkpoint interval is not important. Some people review their goals daily, weekly, and some choose to do it even monthly. So that's one of the supply NCOs calling. I'm gonna have to call him back, y'all. Um, it says remember important birthdays, trips and travel, your anniversary, um, family schedule, class schedule, school and church, important work events, fitness. It's a whole lot. So um, I'm gonna show y'all because I actually got started yesterday or last night, and it's just like a little bit, right? So I started doing some things in my notebook i started work writing and like i said i have like three or four notebooks but in the back of course it has the monthly tab january through december and then in the back it has notes it has days um important holidays like new year's martin luther king um valentine's day president's day daylight saving time all of that and so 
they have an Instagram page as well and so I will link that down below but today is gonna be a great day y'all like other than me having anxiety and working through that I feel like there are going to be times when I have anxiety and I just got to feel, figure, figure out how to deal with it. And then I also have to communicate how I need help with certain things because if I don't communicate that, for example, if I want the trash to be taken out before it gets full, I'm trying to see how can I communicate that. Hmm. Because again, if I see that it's full, I'll take it out. But like if the boys see that it's full, but not all the way full, they won't take it out. They'll just be like, whatever, this sitting on top, it don't, it's, it's good. The trash ain't full. Um yeah i need to figure that out y'all but i hope y'all enjoyed this video i am going to the gym today i felt like in the beginning i talked about vlogging and how you can be more comfortable as far as in having anxiety with recording and i also talked about um like my alopecia and working through that i think i'm gonna do another video like a full video of that and then um I talked to y'all about how I have been dealing with anxiety. I was in the parking lot um, getting ready to go inside the gym and so the sun was shining down so bright on me and it looks like the saturation has me like really, really yellow or not even like the saturation but the sun has me looking really, really, really yellow. I have showed you all like my bare face. I was telling y'all about my spots and what I have been trying to do to fix my spots and correct my spots with the um, different uh serum and i haven't really seen a change in that even though i've been using it for like two weeks and i am talking to y'all about anxiety like on the back end and my daily planner don't forget to go to the morning jump if you are in the fayetteville fort brad fort liberty area do not forget to go to the morning jump i went to the morning jump this morning line was so long y'all and i'm just like is it my fault that everybody is coming to the morning jump like because i posted on tiktok instagram youtube now i'm just like maybe i'm the reason why everybody's going to the morning jump the line was so it now i know i spoke about the morning jump having like 20 cars this morning it was like 40. my husband just started going to the morning jump he now now he's at the morning jump he's like dang like this shit is good and i said i told you i told you so i'm gonna go inside eat my my panini with my egg and swiss cheese drink on my or sip on my caramel chestnut coffee with coconut milk and then sip on my water get some things knocked out because tomorrow is friday and take the time to reset but communicate what i need help with because that will help my anxiety again tell me some of the things that y'all may be experiencing and tell me some of the things that you are doing to help you if you get anxiety or you feel overwhelmed until next time you all this is amelia peace